Hey everyone, it's Jordan Faith. Welcome to my channel. I really enjoy using tips, tricks, techniques, and products from the Curly Girl Method to improve the look and health of my hair. And my sister-in-law is here with me today and she's trying to get her curls back. So I did her hair today with some of my products and techniques. If you wanna see how I did it, stick around. So here we are over the bathtub. This is my sister-in-law, Anna Lee, and she agreed to let me style her hair, even though I have never styled anyone else's hair before. And I'm gonna talk about that a little bit more as we go. I am just wetting her hair here before shampooing. I'm gonna use the Maui Moisture Vanilla Bean Shampoo, which is a clarifying shampoo. And I'm using a clarifying shampoo because Annalie does not follow the Curly Girl method strictly with ingredients. So I wanted to make sure that we washed off any waxes or silicones or anything that might be built up on her hair so we could have a fresh, clean slate for this wash day and styling. I'm just scrubbing her scalp with this. I could have added a little bit more water and that would have helped the product suds up a little bit more, but um, I just kept going with it and it worked just as well, but just know that this is a quite sudsy shampoo. I'm just making sure to get her scalp really clean because that is what the purpose of your shampoo is, to cleanse your scalp. And then you just kind of can squeeze it through the lengths of your hair and they'll be cleansed. You don't really want to work your shampoo into the lengths of your hair. Now that she is all clean and cleansed, I am going to rinse that shampoo out completely. I want to make sure to get off any of the oil that we were rubbing off of her scalp and to get all of that shampoo off of her scalp and out of her hair strands. We don't want any shampoo left over when we move on to the next step, which is going to be the Raw Sugar Healing Power Hair Mask. This is a very thick, deep conditioner. I'm going to take a really good amount so that we can completely saturate her hair with it because her hair was really needing some moisture at this point. I'm gonna start working it through and I wanna get a really, really thorough application of this and make sure that there is enough to nourish her hair strands. And I'm gonna start finger detangling. Whenever you're detangling, whether you're using your fingers or you're using a wet brush or a wide tooth comb, you want to start at the very tip of your hair, the very bottom, and slowly work your way up. You never wanna start from the top because then you'll just be yanking down and putting pressure on the tangles and knots and we'll probably end up breaking, tearing, damaging your hair. Once her hair was very well finger detangled, then I took the wide tooth comb and just combed that conditioner through to make sure that it had reached every hair strand. Then I'm going to twist her hair up and use that clip that you saw to pin it on top of her head so that she can wear it under a shower cap with a towel on top for heat for about 30 minutes. I'm adding a little water and just squishing up that conditioner in her hair before I start rinsing it out. Now like I said, this is a very heavy, moisturizing, deep conditioner, so I want to make sure to completely rinse it out. We don't want any of the weight of all of that product left on her hair. We want it moisturized, we want it hydrated, but we want it completely rinsed out, completely clean, so we can move on to our styling. I'm going to start with a leave-in conditioner. I'll be using the Curls Blueberry Bliss leave-in, just a little bit. 
and I rubbed it between my hands first and then just started working it through her hair like you see me doing here. I am just raking it in to make sure that a little bit got, gets on all of her hair strands. This is a very hydrating product and you just need a little bit. A little goes a long way with this leave-in. I'm going to comb it through after I've raked it through with my fingers just to ensure that it's evenly distributed and to start situating her curl clumps. I'm going to do a nice squish to condition with that leave-in to make sure the product is mixing with the water and absorbing into her hair the best that it can and to start encouraging some curl formation. Then I'm going to take the Cantu Moisturizing Curl Activator Cream and apply it to those lovely clumps that she was just showing you. And I'm just smoothing this over the fronts and the backs and the sides of all of her clumps. And then I'm going to start scrunching it in just to help enhance those curls that she has starting. Annalie has some bleach damage on her ends and some color damage on the top of her hair. So that was very different than my hair. So I was learning as I was going because obviously her hair was reacting differently than mine. Here I'm taking the Aussie Instant Freeze gel and just working it all over those clumps. I'm not raking in the gel. I'm smoothing it over because I don't want to disturb those curl clumps that we just work so hard to form. Then I'm scrunching it in to start further encouraging those curl clumps to curl up. So we had her plop for about 20 minutes and right here I'm just micro plopping which is just squeezing out the rest of the excess water that I can with the t-shirt that she plopped in before I start diffusing. So I did do a little hover over her roots before we clip to this. So I'm just doing basically the same routine that I do on my own hair. It's going to be a mix between pixie diffusing and hover diffusing. I will kind of go back and forth between the two. If you want to see the entire routine of how I diffuse, I do have a video that I will link in the description that you can check out if you're interested. I had her lay down on my bed so that she wouldn't hurt her back after leaning over the bathtub for all that time. I didn't want her to have to lean over for the diffusing period, but I probably should have had her move her head around a little bit more than we did. I did have her flip over, but we didn't do a lot of side to side. But like I said, this was my first time and I was just trying to do the best that I thought that I could. In hindsight, I would have styled her hair probably completely differently. I didn't realize that it would be so much easier to do someone's hair other than my own in the sense that you have so much more control, you have so much more range of motion, you can reach everything, you can see everything while you're doing it. You're not trying to, you know, reach way in the back of your head. You can move around, you can see what you're working with no matter what part of the head you're working on. So the next time I style her hair. I am going to do it upright and it's going to be completely different than this and she has agreed to let me do it again so I'm really excited for that and I will definitely film it and make another video for all of you. You can't see it super well here, but you can tell 
as I was doing her hair, I could see the bleach damaged portion of her hair curling up differently than the top portion. Even though they're both a little bit damaged, the bleach was more damaged. So you could tell it just, it was trying to curl up, but it just wasn't able to. It just didn't have all the strength that it needed to get in that formation. So if you are struggling with bleach damage, know that you can work at it and try to improve it, but there's only so much that you can do to bring back the hair if it has been very, very damaged by bleach, which is, you know, a very strong chemical. And so we diffused 50% dry and then air dried the rest of the way. So that's how we got her hair to look like this. So it's got some nice curling. Especially on this side. She has a stubborn side just like me. So this was actually my first time doing someone's hair other than my own. So let me know in the comments what you thought. If you thought that I should do anything differently. Tell me if there's other videos you want to see in the future. Thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs> I think I need to stop looking at the, the camera. Just look just look at the camera. Not the Don't look at the screen. Yeah. Okay. Hey everyone. <laughs> <laughs> well, you hate me.